Hey everyone, my name is Dave and welcome to the NTD Racing Speed Shop. This here is Ghost, which is gonna be my little boy's side-by-side -side racer, which we're building out using our brand new Bentec Dragon A250 to build. But today, what we're gonna be talking about is Bodega's WD55 electric cooler, which you can throw into your RV, your schoolie, whatever it is you have out there that you do all your overlanding with. You've probably heard me say it before that Desert racing is camping, overlanding, and all that stuff all at the same time. We have a bunch of rigs that we use. We started with Bob. We got a whole bunch of videos for that. We got Mambo. I got our Revel. We have this new Freak Child, which is going to be a Ford F-150 mixed up with some kind of a bread van, and it's going to turn out awesome just because Loco is building it and everything he builds is awesome. But what I want to talk today about is this. So one of the cool parts of being a YouTube channel is people send you stuff and they say make a video. I don't owe them anything after this. There's a good chance I run into you out there somewhere if you bought one of these and if you're pissed that wouldn't be cool so I'm gonna give you an honest review we're gonna see what's in the box we're gonna test it all the things that we needed a cooler to do we're gonna test and one of the cool things about this one that none of the other coolers I have do is this one takes DeWalt 20 volt batteries and we got a bunch of those and you might too so if you want one of these link is in the description below which will take you to our Amazon page you don't pay anything extra, but it definitely helps us out and we do appreciate it. We got a merch store, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to it. All right, first, let me apologize. I've got this cold. I think it's like my fourth cold this year or something like that. It must be COVID, I don't know what's wrong. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about this cooler and the things that I found once I open up the box. And maybe some things that I recognize that maybe you uh, wouldn't catch because this is your first electric cooler. This is, I think, my fourth or my fifth one. And you can watch some of my previous videos where I reviewed some other brands of coolers. And here's what I found, which I find really interesting. And I've seen some other coolers like this, is that this sure looks familiar. This charging block, which is your you know, you're, uh, you plug in this right here. This is your 115 from your house and it goes into the back of the cooler with, I really love these connectors at the back of the cooler. They're super robust and they're not going to break. Uh, here's your 12 volt, 24 volt off of your car into the cooler. Either one of those will work 12 or 24 volts. And then it, what looks familiar to me is this control panel up here. It looks the same as my other coolers and the compressor is also looking pretty darn similar to some of the other coolers that I've had and I have seen online it, a lot of them. And what that tells me is that I think that they're using the same stuff. I would bet you, and I can't confirm that, but it looks like an LG uh, compressor inside there also. And at first I was like, I feel like I'm being cheated here. But when I started thinking about it, we never had a single problem on any of our other coolers with this system. So that tells me that, that I, I, am, I have 100% confidence in these coolers with this setup electronics, the compressor and all that stuff. And so what it really comes down to is it doesn't have the features that you like. Uh, is this, does this cooler fit into your space and what do you want it to do? And one of the coolest features, let's take a look at it right now, of this cooler over some of the other ones, which is totally different, is that it uses uh, DeWalt tool batteries. You can use also other ones. You're gonna have to purchase different adapters to make it work with like say your Makita or your Milwaukee brand batteries. But this one comes already ready to go with DeWalt batteries. I buy these on eBay, uh, you know, for about 85 bucks, somewhere 80, 85 bucks. I get two of these five amp hour batteries. And I'll tell you what, I've been using these DeWalt batteries for years. Some of my batteries have lasted 13 years and we abuse them. So they they are great. Besides that, let's just take a look at some of the other features of the cooler. Let me show you what I like, what I don't like. You got a left side over here, a right side over here. This one over here is closer to the compressor. You can probably make this side colder than this one. I think it even has an ice cream mode, which that sounds pretty cool. Uh, down inside there, they have some drains where one of your jackwad buddies is gonna put a bag of ice in here and it's gonna be full of water. So it's nice to drain out the bottom and also when you're washing it, it's also nice to drain out the bottom. By the way, you don't need ice because these things will actually make ice and we're gonna test that. Uh, it looks like it's deep enough easily to hold 24 cans on both sides, maybe even more uh, than that. Maybe that's what the 55 means. Maybe you can hold 55 cans or something like that. The space is pretty big and it's also uh, really deep. I could fit my whole arm all the way down there to the, uh, the bottom. The control panel, like I said, looks a lot like the other control panels that we have on some of our other coolers and the directions sure look the same as far as how you use those things. 
Um, so what you do, you need to plug this thing in, turn it on, and I'm not gonna show you how to do all that stuff just because I've, I've done it in other videos and it ends up taking a lot of time and, and the directions are pretty, pretty straightforward. One of the things I, I'm, I can't say I'm a big fan of, this is something that caught my eye, is just the, in the down position, this whole cover thing is nice and rugged. You're not gonna knock that thing off. You can put stuff on top there. You can probably sit there, no problem. But as soon as it goes up, it looks to me like this hinge right here is a little bit flimsy. I would be afraid of my buddy Bear with his big meat hooks going in there and ripping this thing off. Besides, besides Bear, if you don't have a friend like Bear, then you're probably gonna be okay. Like I said, I find that the directions, like they're really easy to get to know how to use one of these things, but a year later you forget. And it sure would be nice if they had put the directions right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna cut this page out and I'm gonna tape it right here onto the, this panel. Besides that, down inside here are where those batteries are going to go. Two batteries at a time is what it'll take, and we'll see how that works. It only will charge the, the cooler, but you can't charge the batteries. It doesn't go the other way. It only goes into the cooler. So you're not, it's not a battery charger uh, for that. And it looks like once those batteries go in there, there's still going to be room for wallets and other stuff inside there. There's also a charging port here for your, uh, your iPhones. Place to open your beer bottles over here. You got wheels on it, some handles. There is one other thing on this thing that I really like that I haven't found on some of the other coolers that we've got. And this is something I wish we had is that we always strap this thing down inside of our RV and we run a strap over the top. But this has got these strap locations on the side. I really like that to be able to strap this thing down, secure it inside your RV space. Uh, and then you still have access to the, uh, the, the cooler. One of the things about the doors, a little bit different than some of the other ones we've got. Some of the other ones you can actually pop, you can actually pull the door out and you can re-hinge it over here. This one only hinges on one side, so uh, you just get, wherever you put it, it's got to be you know, that way. Uh, or that was a benefit on the other ones is that depending on where your, your wires kind of came out, you could orient this thing inside your RV space and then turn the doors around if you wanted to. Just can't do that on this one. But the big one is how does it work with the battery? So it's time to test this thing. Let's go ahead. First thing we're gonna do is if it doesn't make margaritas, doesn't make ice cubes, I don't want it. So we're gonna test it, uh, we'll make some ice. And then after we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the power that we're gonna get. So what we do is we're gonna plug this thing into the 115. You could use 230 if you're in Europe. We're gonna bring this thing all the way down temperature, make some ice, and then we're gonna unplug it and just use battery power. And I wanna see how long it will go. Does it, can, you know, the use cases that we find is that we turn it off, we go into the grocery store, we come back out and it's still nice and cold and everything is running, that's perfect. But will it run longer on the DeWalt batteries? Could we turn it off in a parking lot and then come back the next morning and we still have everything frozen inside? That's what I wanna find out. Let's go ahead and run that test. Okay, let's take a look at how we're gonna do this. I got a GoPro right here. We're gonna set that up in time lapse and we're recording the time i'll roll that back to 12 o'clock so you can kind of go from how many hours it's going to take on both sides i have these thermometers for uh cooking now i'll put a link for these in the description below i use them for uh when i smoke meat and that kind of stuff i think they work great they work with all kinds of different thermometers i don't even know if these are the ones that came with it when i bought them i use a, a ton of different thermometers but they're pretty accurate and so what i'm going to do is the one that's over here on the left is I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right into the bottle of water. And that will read the temperature of the water while we're doing this experiment. And the one on the right will just be dropped inside the cooler. And that's gonna read the temperature inside the cooler. And we'll be able to contrast that with what we're seeing up here, which should be the temperature that this thing thinks that it's at while it's you know cooling down that compartment. So uh, we'll go ahead and reset the time, set the time lapse going. I'll rearrange these things a little bit so you can see them really nicely and uh, let's get this experiment underway. Okay, like I said, I've, I have tons of confidence in these compressors and you can see it took exactly four minutes for the right temperature internal chamber to get down to 32 degrees and it actually is below now what this thing will even read. And then you can see the water is obviously going to take a lot longer to cool down.
All right, that was totally an unexpected surprise. I can't believe these batteries lasted for 13 hours. So I wanna do one more test. Uh, can we make ice with just the batteries so everything is cooled down or warmed up, if you will? You can see that I just microwaved that bottled water. It's at 120 degrees, so it's pretty warm. And uh, freshly charged batteries. Let's go ahead and try this test one more time, just starting with DeWalt batteries only. Can we make ice? What? No way. Look at that. That works perfect. Man, we have tested a ton of electric coolers on this channel, and I never thought at the beginning of this video that I would say that the Bodega WD-55 is hands down my favorite. Now, we tested it. There was no surprise when we plugged it in and it was able to freeze the water and do all that stuff because we've seen this compressor and we've seen the electronics on other coolers. I think the same kind of stuff. But the feature that really sets this one apart is the fact that you can put your DeWalt batteries in there and run it off of that. And I was shocked when we unplugged it from the wall and it still lasted for like 12 hours keeping everything inside frozen. And then we warmed it up and we cooled it down again only using the DeWalt batteries. It lasted for like seven Seven hours and again I mean there's the, the proof right there is it made ice which is huge and you can think about all the use cases where you maybe you drag this thing to the soccer field just with the batteries in it and you've got cold drinks and maybe some popsicles during the game and all kinds of different use cases for this thing and for us it's dragging it around when we go on races which is we're getting this thing ready for uh, it'll be the next project is we're gonna be recaging my little boys razor side by side so he's legal to race and we're going to be using that awesome tool in the back. That's the Dragon A250 from Bentec, a brand new tool in our shop, a complete game changer. And if you want to see those things, then hopefully we've earned your subscribe to this channel. And uh, we've got a lot of great stuff coming up as we're racing our other two trucks. And then we're also bringing another Class 11 VW Bug, which will be caging again with that tool over there. A lot of stuff hopefully you don't want to miss. And we will see you next week. Take care of yourself.